Welcome brothers and sisters. I just finished playing Black Myth Wukong yesterday and I'm currently just replaying the new game plus to record some of the bosses for my next video which is basically all the bosses of the games compilation. However, I want to start with the good stuff because that's much easier to get over with especially when every single human being on the planet is praising this game through the roof and rightfully so it is so fucking good and absolutely deserves the 2 million players at the same time even after a couple of days so the first thing which is the most obvious the secrets of the game are absolutely amazing every single chapter has a hidden open world and while the smallest of them is chapter 3 it still has the true ending secret boss there so yeah i'm still gonna equal it out with all the other chapters just for that and of course you got the npc's hub world where you can fight the yin tiger and yeah it really feels like the game is actually the secrets more than the actual main story you can make a whole another game using only the secrets of this game this is just how passionate the developers are they don't care if you're gonna play them or not they put it out of passion for those who will discover them and i absolutely respect the shit out of that the second thing which is probably also one of the biggest things you will notice is the amount of bosses in the game it is absolutely absurd every couple of minutes you're fighting a boss and i love that it really feels like a boss rush game which is insanely entertaining and of course with each boss comes the designs holy fucking shit the game looks so damn good the environment the bosses the skills everything it looks so damn good and speaking of skills skills are amazing and the fact that you can re-slot them any time you want in the whole game without any limitations is crazy to me in a good way i absolutely hate limitations in what you can do and can't do in games i like it when you can explore what you can do with the character rather than oh let's look at the guide so i don't pick the wrong thing because once you realize a skill you got is actually trash it won't feel good anymore huh you will probably want to just go back and not use it and that thing definitely happened to me in this game but luckily you can literally just take away the point and give it to something you want it's so damn fun and so inviting to change the way you approach each boss in the game and speaking of bosses the difficulty i think is absolutely perfect i don't think it should be harder i don't think it should be easier anyway i've glazed the game a bit too much now i think it's time i got to the things i didn't like which there are a couple of actually despite how everyone is glorifying this game and i'm not saying this like uh, no one has problems no i've heard many people talk about some of these problems so it's not just me first of all which is probably my biggest letdown is chapter six just a little spoiler chapter six is just not good it feels like everything they have built up through chapter one to five just how they perfected all the chapters all the worlds all the secrets all of that got dropped right in the trash for chapter six for some reason they just let you fly in this giant open area and go from boss to boss that's literally it until you get to the final boss it's literally a boss rush and one of the bosses is just hold the right trigger simulation <laughs> literally even though the boss looks so damn cool i wish they made us fight that but instead you just hold it for a couple of seconds and you beat the boss i don't know what they were thinking with that boss but anyway even the secret boss it was so stupid you just wait on the sidelines until the boss stops moving for like a whole minute and lets you destroy his crystal things and whatever it's just 
it's not good it was not good chapter 6 i did not like that the only thing good about chapter 6 are some of the bosses and of course the final boss the open area is absolutely trash it is god awful compared to all the previous chapters and speaking of like worlds and open areas another thing i disliked is just how many invisible walls are in the game i'm gonna try and find some footage of this being an absolute pain in the ass and just non-logical to have in the game but yeah there are some areas where you it feels like you should be able to go but you cannot go there and there are some areas where i think it's better to let the player die actually of the map just let the player die like what's the big deal <laughs> you don't need to babysit them through an open world you know invisible walls i don't like them i don't like them at all and something kind of similar to walls the hitboxes hitboxes of the bosses is batshit insane some of the moves they do are just visually not as accurate as the hitbox and some of their bodies are so weird where you're literally hitting them point blank but none of them are taking damage it is so damn weird and i wish they made the pluck of many hitboxes not collide with each other that much because there are times where the boss is kind of cornered and i'm trying to hit him but there's literally no room for me my duplicates are taking all the space and i cannot charge my focus i could just sit and charge it but yeah that's gonna take a lot of stamina let me just do damage while my stamina drops down you know it's a bit annoying another thing that also has to do with bosses and something i have not heard anyone talk about but when i had that happen it really pissed me off the first time you fight a boss and the second time you fight a boss and on the first time is always related to the story and i'm speaking about a couple of bosses not all bosses of the game there are some bosses where there is a companion with you sometimes it's jubaji sometimes it's the spiders sometimes it's another boss you're supposed to fight but for some reason he's here <laughs> now fighting the other boss you're trying to fight but yeah all these interactions which are super cool only happen the first time you fight that boss and the moment you die you respawn and the boss yeah there's no one there you're supposed to fight him that's it alone without the really cool interactive storytelling mid boss fight that was so cool but yeah i guess it's not that big of a deal but still really kind of pissed me off that i only got to experience that once and last thing which is not everyone's problem but you're gonna understand it's the optimization never put your game on hdd there is not a single game it could not run on high quality but it shits itself when it runs black wukong i don't know what happens the loading takes about five minutes every time you get to another world teleport whatever happens the frames drop super hard i'm gonna try and find some videos of that happening to me but it's literally the whole game from start to finish all the voices were delayed from what was happening in the video in the cutscene and that yeah after a while i got used to it but still if it happened to me in any other game that is not as good as black myth wukong i would have been so goddamn pissed it just happens that black myth wukong is just making me really really happy when it comes to gameplay that i don't really mind the frame drops and don't get me wrong the frame drops after like a couple of minutes just return to normal like i can play the game the footage i'm gonna show you is nice good i'm not gonna just show all the boss fights one frame per second and there has been times where it was just one frame per nine seconds by the way 
But yeah, let's talk about some general stuff. I really love Jubaji. He's my favorite character. He's so damn amazing. The moment you meet him, I'm not gonna say what chapter, but yeah, you meet someone called Jubaji. I love him. He's he's the goat. Not actual goat. <laughs> I mean, you're gonna see that later on. But actually, is it a goat or, or a fucking bull? I don't remember. The end of chapter cinematics are fucking beautiful it is by far my favorite part in the whole game especially the chapter 2 the type of animation they used was so refreshing was so nice i really loved it all the other chapters use like drone animation types but chapter 2 is the only one that doesn't use like drone animation it is some kind of like clay, I think. Clay to some graphics, maybe. Animation. I mean, definitely there's graphics in there, but yeah, it was so nice. And the music is just, ah, uh, just listen to it yourself, okay? Do yourself a favor and listen to it, the music. It is just chef's kiss. That's, that's all I can say. Again, especially in those end of chapter cinematics. It's amazing. Also the credits actually. It's so damn good. But yeah, I recommend this game to every soul on the planet. I think everyone should be able to complete this game. Unlike most Souls games, there are some people I know who... <laughs> it is impossible for them to complete like some Souls games. This is hardly a Souls games. It's between something like God of War and Elder Ring, something like that. And yeah, I don't want to make this any longer than it already is. And yup, I give this a beautiful 9.5 out of 10. Yes, all these complaints I had only drop a half a point. Just how good the game is. Go play it. You deserve to give yourself a nice experience. And I'm giving you the way on how to do it. Go play the game. Get the fuck out.